France, USA. Attention. Go. Complete. 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 A little longer. Out to full. Hyper 10. One. Swing together. Two. Three. There it is. Four. 45. Five. Six. Seven. 116. Eight. Nine. Ten. Striding. Leg swing. Leg swing. For the first time, really, in, in my career, I actually allowed them to pick the coxswain. I mean, obviously, you know, I had some input, but, you know, I wanted them to have someone who they're comfortable with because it's only one race and uh, they're together a short period of time. We showed up on selection day in the morning and we were all actually expecting to keep racing and coach came and said that, he, you know, we're going to name the boat now and, and he, uh, you know, he took a few guys aside and met with them and then came back and said, okay, this is the boat, named the eight rowers, and then took the eight rowers aside and said, okay, now we need to, you know, all agree on the coxswain position and they talked about it and ultimately I was the decision that they came up with, so uh, I guess I was the right fit, which is, which is a tremendous honor. So I wanted them to have someone that they, they felt confident in. And it's, you know, it's a testament to Zach, really. He, he, he's young, and for him to kind of break through, especially with a group of athletes that, that he's never been with before, I think it's a testament to his ability. Good. Root, half pressure. Now I can develop a specific relationship with this crew where I'm only catering to these eight guys, and we got to make sure that we're all on the same page. You know, we got to become a family now. You know, it's got 100% trust between all of us. The people that we did select were the, were the guys that actually were the best racers. You know, not necessarily the best athletes, not necessarily the best technical rowers, but, but, the, but the nine best racers we felt like we had, because it's only one race and they have to win. When we selected the boat, there was no hooting and hollering or cheering or yelling or celebrating because they know they're not on the Olympic team yet. You know, they have to qualify. They've made, they've made the boat that has an opportunity to go to the Olympics if they win this race, and they know that. So, you know, when we named the boat, it was pretty subdued. It never really sunk in like, I've made the team, you know, this is the greatest accomplishment. It, it more of everything really just shifted. And it shifted to we got to get faster for this race. We got to get as fast as possible here before we leave to go compete for a spot in the Olympics. We're going to Switzerland. We're going to be there for a week before the racing starts. Uh, we have to get as fast as possible before then, obviously. But, you know, no, we got we to travel across the world. We to get there and, and get the boat feeling good over there, get our, everything acclimated. And what we have to do now is just train hard and get faster. And that's, that's, that's our motto here. And that's what we're sticking to. We take it one practice at a time. With Zach and the rest of the group, that they're purposeful. You know, they know what their, they know what their mission is right now. And they, you know, they have to win. There's no room for error.